every year there are thousands of accidents that uh, involve power mowers. So guess what? We have Bill Zalea and John Cotter. Uh, both, uh, you've been in the business for quite 40 years or so? At least. All right, so give or take a few. And so you know how to keep safe while doing this. Uh, can we start off? I just need to ask, like, is there something, uh, you know, as we do this, are, are there any do's and don'ts here? Like, we have Sam's foot under the mower. This have is I one of those don'ts. Yeah. Don't put your foot under the mower, no matter what, I'm sure. Even while it's you not guys, running, you guys I'm guessing. Anytime, right? because a blade can spin, especially if it's been jammed. Oh, that's And true. you don't want to clear the debris with your hands or anything other than perhaps a broomstick handle or something along that. It will call po uh, cause possible dismemberment. I have to tell you yeah. guys that I am, I am very guilty of something, and I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of viewers do the same thing as well. These are, are obviously self-propelled mowers, but you have to squeeze it to get it to start going forward. Am I what right? did you do? Did you no, you like, have no, no, no. to squeeze it in order to start the engine. Oh, okay. All but of today's mowers have what's called operator presence control. Okay. You cannot leave the operator position with the engine running unless it's a blade stop system or a blade clutch system where the engine is running and the blades are not. So I have a feeling, though, that Sam is going to say I am. there I'll is a you, way, and he probably and, did. And it. let me tell you this, and you know what? I, I'm going to have to blame my dad for this one because the self-propelled mower that we have at home, he put a little contraption on it nope. where what he did was he made it so that you can squeeze this up, and then you put something on it so that it won't shut off on you when you let your hands go, which obviously can be a very dangerous thing. Well, how do you shut off the mower? You undo the contraption. You just uh, wait for it to run out of gas. He <laughs> throws it in the garage and goes, out of gas goes, goes inside. Yeah, forward. we've often thought of that. Uh, By the way, and, and, and I imagine there's no drink holders on these things because the riding mowers have them. Probably not a good idea to be, uh, you know, having certain It's kinds of not beverages. recommended to drink any alcoholic beverages while operating a piece of power equipment. Stating the obvious, perhaps. Oh, all right. Visually, uh -huh. can you give us some, some cues other than Sam not putting his foot underneath? What are some things we can do or not do? Do's and don'ts. Well, the one thing with a lawnmower is you always want to first read your operator's manual completely. In English, the, the part that's in English. In it's English, yeah. Uh, don't try the Spanish or French. I get lost. <laughs> There's a lot of languages there. <laughs> <That's Okay. true. laughs> Second of all is to familiarize yourself with the machine. On most of your machines, they have what I call the operator presence control. Like you were saying, Which yeah. this bale, if it's not held down, the engine will not spin. Okay. It's available in various kinds of self-propelled. This model, you squeeze to gain various speeds. Oh, okay. On this one, ah. once you hold the bale back, you push this bar forward. The more you push, the faster it goes. Oh, interesting. Okay. On this model, the engine starts, yeah. but the blades are not turning. It's Unless. a blade stop system. Until Unless you pull that back, uh -huh. pull this handle back, and now your blades are turning, and you push this to drive forward. If you let it go, the, whole thing's the blade, no, oh, the, the blade engine continues to run. But the blade stops. So that if you dropped yeah. an empty beverage container, right, <laughs> and you have to stop to pick it up, why are you looking at me? <laughs> a lot of people complain about having to restart their mowers. Yeah. Well, if you let go of this bale, the engine continues to run. Just the, yeah. just the blades. And I Opposed another, to these where the engine stops. Another, I'm sure another word of advice, you definitely want to keep the kids away from these. You yes. shouldn't have kids, small children. That's too, I'm sure. No. Adults, anywhere near a lawnmower while it's operating. Now, we're, we're starting to get short on time. Talk about these blades. One of them is... Uh, this, uh, this is a blade. Uh, that wow. one's kind of worn that, and bent. That the owner questioned as to why he needed a new blade. <laughs> Looks fine to me, right? Yeah. yeah. Blades have lifters. Okay. This small area here at the back of the blade yeah. lifts the grass up in order to be cut. These blades are spinning rather quickly at over 16,000 feet per second. Yeah. What happens is sand erodes this lifter yes. and then it wears it out to the point that the back edge is a lot sharper than the front. Ah, so all right, another safety issue as well as uh, where'd the metal go? We've got to get going, guys. But uh, you know, perhaps we can come have you come back. I'm just making sure all your fingers are count. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we got them. We'll check back with you later in the summer and see how we're doing. <laughs> Sam, yours are all there. Okay, yeah, we're good enough. It's all right. Well, Bill, John, thank you so much for yeah, coming in and safe mowing, everybody. Absolutely. Of course, we want that for you. And uh, coming up after the break, I think we're talking about how. 
thin isn't necessarily the only way to be in when it comes to modeling. Hey, there's hope for all of us. <laughs> well, include, well, Sam already, but you know. Anyway, side view, gentlemen. Oh, well. Uh... You know. Oh, all right, well, we'll be right I'm back. I'm not going to turn sideways. I'll stay straight. <laughs>